Let me start with the hour of the week analysis, which was which is one of our data insight tools. Now, the, the reason I want to show this tool is because it answers a pretty common question that we might all have about our AdWords accounts. So we might be wondering, are we spending our budget at the right time of the week? Now, obviously, the conversion rates are going to be different on different days of the week, depending on what business you're in. Now, AdWords makes it really easy to answer the question of what is your best day of the week? Uh, you can do a daily segmentation for that, or they will answer the question of what is your best hour of the day? And you can do an hourly segmentation on that. But it's not because Wednesday is your best day of the week and five o'clock in the afternoon is your best hour of the day, that Wednesday at 5 p.m. is also gonna be the one best hour of the week. It could very well be a Saturday at 8 a.m. And now to get that overlay of these two pieces of data, you know, what is the best day and what is the best hour, in AdWords, you have to do a double segmentation report. You have to download it. You probably have to stick it into Excel to put it into a chart because if you just look at the table, it's going to be really hard to understand. And so all of that just takes a lot of time. So it's something that we know we should be doing, but we probably don't do as often as we should because it's too hard. So here, as you could see with a single click, I've generated a chart that shows for every single hour of the week, what is my performance? Now, like I said, I might want to look at what is my conversion rate. So I can select a uh, conversion rate up here and I can compare that to something like impression share. And now the thinking here is if I have a high conversion rate at a certain hour of the week, then I should probably also capture that with a high impression share. And as you can see in this account, there seems to be a spike on Thursdays at one o'clock in the afternoon. The conversion rate, the blue line is pretty high, but the black line, the impression share is actually not following that. So that might be an opportunity. If I spent a little bit more budget in that hour of the week, I might get better results. Uh, now, with all of our tools, you'll also notice we have a couple of common uh, user interface elements. So, for example, you'll always have on the left side your account picker. So right now, this tool is looking at the whole account. But if you just said, hey, I want to look at how some subset of campaigns are doing, you can just unselect whatever you don't want to include. And, uh, and then you can rerun the report very easily. Or if you have AdWords labels applied, you can click on this dropdown, and it'll show you your AdWords labels, and then those will automatically pick the right campaigns. You can also change your date ranges. So by default, we look at the last 30 days of data, but if you think last 30 days are not representative, you could look back at a further date range, uh, or you could even do a custom date range. So set any date range you want. And I'll show you how quick this is. So I go to last month, and I hit the button for updated data. And you know, as opposed to me having to go to AdWords and download a new report and put it into Excel, which all would take a long time, this is just gonna take a few seconds here and it's gonna re-render the data for that last month. And so you can see that the last month actually looked pretty similar to the last 30 days, but uh, it gives you good insight into whether things are changing or shifting in the account. And you can also take a look at network segmentation as well as device segmentation. So if you're curious, how does that data look just on mobile devices while you unselect all of the other options. Hit update on that one more time, and it's going to re-render the data just for mobile devices. Uh, by the way, many of these data insights, uh, you see me clicking through quite a few things here to, to make these changes. If you find yourself looking at the same things on a monthly or a weekly basis, you can actually include these things into a scheduled report. And you can include multiple versions. So you could include one that shows you the last month and the month before that, or the different segmentations of mobile or uh, tablet, et cetera. So on a single PDF, you could see all of the charts that you typically look at. And I'll show you how to make that in the customer reporting section. But that's a big time saver uh, that I use once in a while myself. Now, the other way that we look at this data here for hour of the week is we show it to you in a big table. And this big table explains when something is better than average and worse than average. It's actually not average. So it's, it's below expectation and above expectation. And you can see we're looking at the two metrics that I've selected in my, uh, in my dropdowns at the top of the page. So if I were to change these two, the values in here would change as well. But uh, now the thinking is if I have a high conversion rate, I want to have a high impression share. So ideally, I want both of these sides of the box to be green at the same time. If I have a low conversion rate, then my impression share can also be low. So then it's OK to have two sides of the box be red, like in this example. Uh, or here, both of them are green, like in this example. Now, any situation where there's a mismatch in colors, like here, where we have a high conversion rate but a low impression share, that's the time of the week when I might want to make some changes to my budgets so that, for example, between 12 p.m. and 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a, on a 
on a Friday here or on a Wednesday, um, I'm capturing more of that better than expected conversion rate. 